So uh, Elon Musk has um, started to take to Twitter uh, regarding the Model 3. He's released a couple of statements. And um, before I get into uh, those ones, I wanted to go over um, everything that we've heard and know so far, pretty sure or for sure, based on uh, direct statements um, from people in the company, it's including Elon Musk, um, J.B. Straubel, uh, and Franz von Holzenhausen. So, in terms of design, we know that it's not going to look like any other car. Uh, it's a brand new vehicle structure relative to uh, the Model S and Model X. 20% smaller than Model S, but a similar feel. Um, it's it's going to be cooler and more sort of couture, ready to wear design uh, than Model S, which was Model S was a little bit more athletic um, and one size fits all. Um, and there's going to be a sedan and a crossover vehicle. Elon Musk has also mentioned this, um, and it sounds like the Model Y is going to be the crossover version. Um, and then version 1 is not going to be as adventurous as uh, the X was in terms of design. Um, more about that a little bit later. Uh, features. Um, the full autonomy sensor suite uh, is likely going to be um, available on Model 3 when it's released. All-wheel drive is not going to be standard, but probably offered. That hasn't been um, confirmed for sure. Um, Described as great acceleration, driving feel, and uh, cargo space, 200 mile usable, quote unquote, real world, real world range. Uh, so we'll see what that ends up. To me, that means um, a rated range of 250, but we'll see. Um, there is a rumor that they're going for a less than 0 0.2 uh, drag coefficient. Um, and again, not all the cool features will be released at first. Um, in terms of nuts and bolts, uh, it's a new battery architecture, new motor technology, um, projected to be a 40% better battery. Um, that's key for uh, better efficiency and lighter weight. Most likely the frame will be steel-based rather than aluminum, and as a whole this is a new platform and a new technology base. Um, the uh, release date has been stated as March 31st. Um, deliveries are stated to happen, not actually not just production, but deliveries in 2017. Uh, that's a bit of a recent update actually. Fully operational Gigafactory is key to keeping the price down and Elon Musk has said this month that the Gigafactory is on track uh, to keeping that. Now in terms of uh, the recent tweets, um, these are the ones that Elon Musk has just uh, said. Uh, the first one, yeah, so Model 3 reservations will be um, open with $1,000 down on March 31st um, Oh, in the stores and then also um, online April 1st. And there's going to be no signature series um, and Elon Musk uh, references the reservation amount which um, is generally higher for the signature series. And this comment might be in reference to a recent article in The Verge where they um, talk about, they claim that the initial price of the Model 3 is not going to be 35 um, because of the history of how Tesla re releases their vehicles um, in a way that the, the first vehicles off the line are like super doped up with all options and that kind of stuff and are not the base price. The base price isn't even available um, at first. So I'm kind of wondering if this tweet is sort of indirectly related to that. Um, although. Elon Musk doesn't usually tweet indirectly, he usually addresses things um, directly. So uh, we'll see, but they sure hyped this car as like being affordable and um, mass produced. So if your initial release is like way more expensive, that seems to be counterintuitive. Uh, regardless, he also said that um, this is not going to be his last tweet. Um, so he said over the next coming weeks he's going to be unveiling uh, things about the release, um, or it looks like just details on the Model 3. Having said that though, he has said um, uh, last month, um, as I referenced in a previous video I did, that even some of the cool features that they're developing for Model 3 are not even going to be um, announced initially or released. So they're going to 
they're going to save stuff um, for later after they ramp up production and sort of upgrade the car um, over time. So um, I'm sure he'll talk about it at some point um, in the future, a little bit more detail about that plan. So anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much everything we know for sure. Um, there's still a lot of speculation and a lot of things we don't know. Um, like we still have no clue like what exactly this thing is going to look like. It sounds uh, like it's really cool. Elon Musk has said that he's really happy about how it's turned out and he thinks that the public will like it as well and generally he's pretty right about that. If he's happy with something, generally we're happy with it. So again, I'll shamelessly rep uh, reference my blog, everything Tesla Model 3 dot um, blogspot dot com and as we learn more I'm probably going to do more short videos about it um, as well as posting things on the blog since videos are easier to reference sometimes so anyway hope that was interesting and I'll see you in the next video